play. I've actually had to go ahead and play him several times with Predlies. Uh, I've gotten bodied by those items more times than I care to admit. Now we have a Devo and Glug. The Ness, I think, is going to be against yeah. the Donkey Kong. It'll be really interesting. Glug is an interesting story, actually. So sometimes Glug goes ahead and he places stupid amazing well and does stupid good with that Donkey Kong, but then other times then he just falters to just random people, I guess. Yeah, sometimes that's the nature of the character. I remember at SoCal, 20, uh, SoCal Chronicles 2020, the, one of the last large tournaments in SoCal before the pandemic, he popped off. He defeated Master Mario. was one of, you know, the most out-of-nowhere performances. I think in his entire career, he ended up making top eight, I believe, or very close. Yeah. And then just followed it up with crashing out in, like, the second round of a local shortly after. So just the highs and lows for him, something he has to manage. Yeah, exactly. But look, we're looking at Ding Dong, but it's not going to go ahead and kill. He's still knocking on that door, but not able to go ahead and close it out. That was really close monkey punch. Yeah, the giant punch not too far away. Well, he's got the PK fires going out. Debo still, that's Debo San Diego, right? I believe so. I've seen him in a few SD locals, so. Yeah, no, I've seen him in San Diego. I believe he's from San Diego, driving a long way to do really well at this event. Get side beat, but not killed. Keeping him planting his head and then uh, keeping his knocking in the ground, trying to go ahead and stay a little bit not as grounded like that. Debo working his side over the side there. He's off the stage, but he's pushing his way back. Glug go ahead and find it with that forward tilt slap, but not able to find the stock. Debo is just putting in this really good DI. Yeah, I believe Debo is in tune to some of these tomahawk options from Glug, but just not able to snuff out whether he's going for F tilt or grab. The monkey punch coming through. I love going ahead and see it. Glug! Oh my gosh! That was so fast! That was like less than 15 seconds! I feel like if you blinked like maybe three times, you missed that entire stock. That was so fast from Glug. Absolutely. Goes ahead and finds the grab attack, but it's okay. Devil goes ahead and takes up that stock. Devil not not caring if he got clipped or not. It doesn't matter. He's going to go ahead and push through it because that's the mentality for two that you have to play with. Yeah, completely. Back into the fray he goes and does well to get with that landing magnet. That Enough space. That's a punishable option. There we go. He's finding out some really good percentage. He's got him off the stage. You know he wants that down air. It feels like he wants it. It's the PK fire. Tries to get with the yo-yo. Glug not taking it, though. With that forward tilt, trying to keep him off the stage there. Good parry, but another better option. Ooh. And this time, off the very finds that up air once again. He's found that twice out of the corner. Incredible. This back throw is still not going to kill. He's heavy. Chunky monkey. Still finding his way back to stage. Gets the yo-yo is going to kill. What's sus the eye? I'm surprised with that. He's down to his last stock situation. Devo already starting to find the first exchanges. Tries to get a grab. Not able to find it. Devo's pushing him. Yeah, it's a tough situation for Glug when you're out of a jump. But, oh, wanted that conversion off the magnet into downer and wasn't too far away. No, he wasn't. Devo could have entirely turned this entire game around. But Glug has to be more careful. Four tilt. Going to keep him off the stage. Glug kicking the stage control. He has to watch out with this. Maybe he can go ahead and find his way in with this. He has a couple more opportunities to go ahead and try to take out Debo. Debo has a couple himself, though. That ledge, he snapped. Gets the down air, but not the kill. Debo safely takes the corner. Back air, and that's going to go ahead and be the first game. Glug clutching it out. That's amazing clip right there. I would not be surprised if that ends up on Heat Smash later. Hi, Heat Smash. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to say because... Debo controlled, I want to say, 85% of the game there. 100%. Agreed to that. He was, you know, pressing well, but against Donkey Kong, you need to be more in control than that. And if you let your guard down once, you get, z I think that was a zero to death or very close to it. That was, it was pretty much. I think it was too, just about. It was, it was an incredible conversion. Like, that, that's, if, if somebody did not clip that, I'll be surprised. All right, so getting off the side there. Getting started up again. Glug already trying to put on some percentage. Falling out of that upper. I'm surprised with that, actually. Good parry into the forward air. Up tilt. Good setup, actually, coming up from Glug. I like it. Ooh, he tried to clap him. But Devil not going to get clapped anymore. Yeah, nearly fell victim to that again. Here we see the jab off. He tried to go ahead and clap him back. Oh, I love seeing it. You know you love the trade for trade. At least Debo has another chance to go ahead and make himself go ahead and have a clip against Glug. 
But I feel like it, you know, you can kind of feel it. That time, ooh, jumped just in time, so did not get buried, and that forward air is going to cover so much. Glug forced to commit early and pays the price. And it was so smart of Devil to go ahead and just take the jump on the on the side B, but then go ahead and find the punish afterwards. So smart. Work the trade. That was not a trade. <laughs> Glug gonna go ahead and find that next stock. This is not far at all enough. Devil probably wanted to go ahead and find himself in a better situation, but it's not looking too far off for either player. Both players keeping it close. Five fares in a row and a trade on the back air. Glug out of a jump, so it is going to be eating something. Going to get the PK fire off stage. He wanted to hit him. You can see. He gets slapped, but he's able to get back. Gets the back throw. He still has a lot of percentage to work with. Glug getting back to stage. It's going to be a... Uh, getting back to stage is one thing. Oh! The skill check. Gets back to the stage again. Gets the back air. That's he's over inside this edge guard, and he's going to go ahead and take it. Glug... At 127 with possibly some of the best rage you can go ahead and work with. But Devil has this really good edge guard. He gets monkey punched off the side there. Glug just going to go ahead and keep throwing hands, it seems. Yeah, 31% just for that one armored move. So many things it cost you. Yeah, I almost thought that was the game there. Glug wanted, thought about ending it, and he was like, nah, I'll wait another second. He's grabbing just out of the range of that landing air. Up air, covered the wrong side of the platform, too. He thought he was going to go ahead and move. But he goes ahead and, re and uh, survives the up air. Up air. Back air going ahead. That, this is the last stock scenario in game number two. Devil with an opportunity, but he has to go ahead and play his cards right. All time from him. Doesn't go for that third aerial in the single jump. This time just wants to make it a bit more of a mix up that. Good force smash, actually. It was a really good read on that air dodge. I was going to say, most Nesses just opt to cover more options with a PK fire, but that time it's sending a bit of a message. Oh, but he gets some, Oh, he just misses his grab there. I thought that was an opportunity. But Glug just lucking out from that the idea from Devil not being able to capitalize. Trade a lot of control for Glug. Goes ahead and gets the forward air. He's off stage. Glug has the advantage on the side here. Gets the jabs. I feel like there's going to be a monkey punch. It's fully charged, so has that in the back pocket if he needs it. Oh, and he gets the down. Devo turning it around. He's taking game number two. And we have a set, folks. 1-1. One, one. And if ever there was a set where I wanted to see a game three, it's going to be this one. These are two characters that can duke it out, can both take stocks very early through separate means. You can already see some of the top talent already going ahead and starting to watch this game. I like how YMC is going ahead and watching a fellow DK player. He's like, let's go. To and then you can already see Elgin just watching too. He's like, I'll probably play one of these two later in the bracket. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, you already can tell he's taking notes. He's looking at what these opponents have to do. There's a couple other Nesses in the bracket, so I wouldn't be there surprised if there's one in his path later on. Uh huh. But now getting on to this next match, Devil Glug, game three. You can already tell from the advantage from that. Glug already starting out with some really good percentage. Going ahead and finding himself in there with a really good advantage, but he's not able to quite connect his hits. Devil's starting to finally find some of them, but he's not getting too much damage out of it afterwards. Outranges that grab too, but Glug going to close the space with Dash Chat. He's now starting to find more of the percentage that he needs and the mileage to keep him off the stage. Devil now has working with 68% and climbing. A few fares together. That roll once again able to escape. Donkey Kong's roll goes more distance than most characters. Mm -hmm. Try to get that up smash, but he's not able to do double acting fast. Good decision making. Can side beat into the up air. Glug now has him off the stage and off the screen. Glug taking the first stock with that. Devil's going to go ahead and have to go ahead and pay him back for it. Fourth throw oh. missed giant punch, and that could have been an opportunity. Could have been an opportunity, but the one that Devil still has chances for. He's got the yo yo, but not able to capitalize. He tries with the get up attack and baits him into that situation. Well played by Devil. They're now even percent. And Devil's starting to go ahead and take the lead with it. Yeah, beautiful gambit. Let go of the smash attack early. I don't think he had any intention of hitting him at all on the ledge. Just wanted to bait out the get up attack. Good forwarder off the side of the stage. Back air, down air. The savage hits coming out. I love all these raw hits. Back throw. Devil really starting to move a lot faster. He's got a lot of steam. He was slower in that first game trying to feel it out. But now he's working really fast. Devil now has a glug on the ropes. Yeah, and just goes into that sort of predator mode, knowing that Glug didn't have a jump and has to be able to close the space quickly. But Glug trying to go ahead and be a little bit more cautious to it. Still going to get fair chained. Tries for that up smash. 
Not able to correct read it yet. He tries again for another Hail Mary. He's just trying to get all these hits, and Devo is not letting him. Crushes up with PK Fire and puts Devo in an advantageous situation, but Glug able to reverse things. That Good. back air, Ness has no jump. And he's going to go ahead and kill it. They're now down to final stocks. One player each. Only one victor. Back air off the stage. Devo has the advantage. He tries to go high. He meets him there. He tries to go on the side. He makes it back, but it doesn't matter. The back air is going to go ahead and take the game. Devo going and winning this set two to one. What an incredible set. Yeah. It looked all the momentum was right there for